So, story time. Uh, I actually have had rear window louvers on this car for, well, had them on this car for about six months. Uh, I bought them last summer. You can see, they're on here now. But I bought them last summer and what happened was uh, I actually go to college um, somewhere near here and I had my car parked in a public lot one night. Um, when I came back <laughs> to the car, someone had actually ripped these louvers clean off of the car. Uh, they broke the hardware brackets that they were mounted with and they had stuffed them underneath, like beneath the car. Uh, which I think is like outrageous, you know, because why would you do that to someone's car that's just sitting in a parking lot, not hurting anybody? Um, but anyway, uh, now that I have to put these back on, I realized this is the kind of thing that I can record a quick little install video for, and I can show you guys how I do this uh, so that these will stay on for a long time. I've had these ones on for... Uh, years now, at least three or four years, and they are just 3M tape and they're still rock solid. Um, <laughs> the reason you see these on already now is because I'm recording this introduction after the video, so uh, I've already gone through the whole process, um, but I'm going to show you guys how to install these so that they will stay on, so that they're not going to fly off on the highway, and so that if someone decides to angrily and irrationally try to rip them off your car, they'll at least have a hard time. So today we're going to be installing these rear window louvers for the 2005 Mustang GT. Uh, these will fit on anything 2005 to 2009, uh, but this process will work for any kind of car. So all you're going to need for the install is the louvers themselves, a hardware kit, which most sets of louvers are going to come with, uh, but if you don't get one for some reason, you can order something like this. These are a nicer aluminum uh, than the plastic that came with this one on Amazon, like 20 bucks, not too bad. Uh, and you're going to need some ice purple alcohol. This is medical stuff, but anything will do. So we're going to take one of these metal things, one of the washers, and one of the nuts, and we're gonna put the metal thing in this hole here, just like this. Make sure it's all the way in there. And you take your washer, put that on the other side, and then you take the nut and you thread that on until it's nice and tight. Hand tight should be fine for these. Um, and we're gonna go around and do that for each one of the holes all the way around the louvers. Uh, and then we'll put the 3M tape on. So you can see we've put those plates on each of the holes for the louvers and you'll also notice, let me find a piece of it, this stuff, um, this is just foam. I believe it's also from 3M. It's adhered to each of these ridges for the louvers and the reason for that is to make sure that when these are rattling around on the highway. They're not smacking the rear glass of your car and making a whole bunch of noise. Um, make sure that you put these on tight enough. Uh, if they move a little bit, it's okay. You'll definitely want to go around and tighten them up after you put everything on because, um, you know, you don't want these to fly off on the highway. You'll also notice from my previous install, I have this adhesive left over. Uh, if you have something like that, you probably want to take a scraper and just scrape that off because the, the cleaner the glass is, the better the install is gonna go. So we're wiping this back glass down. Uh, after you have it all nice and dirt free, yeah, I just washed the car and it was still that dirty. So you wanna make sure you're nice and thorough with that. As soon as you have all of the dirt off, you're gonna wanna get a dry rag and dry the entire back glass. All right, so we have our ice purple alcohol and just a paper towel. Uh, and we're going to take this, uh, be careful, it will burn your hands a bit. Pour a little on this rag. That was a lot, I just spilled it all over the car. Uh, and we're going to wipe down this surface. And you see, 
that nice like rainbowy color and how it gets super nice and clean after we've applied this. Um, don't get it on your car's paint like I did. That's bad. Um, but just take your, your rag here and make sure you get the entire rear window nice and clean. Let's see. We're picking, yeah, see, we're still picking up quite a bit of dirt, so I want to go back over these areas. The better of a job you do with this part, the longer the louvers will stay stuck on the back of the car and not on the side of the road. So we've got our glass all cleaned up. Now we're ready to start getting these louvers ready to go on. Uh, so the kit that I got has these 3M well, supposedly 3M, uh, tape strips, just these. So what you're gonna wanna do is peel these off of this paper, uh, leave the red part on for now, and put one on each of these. Uh, now these just came out of the box, so they should be pretty clean, but if for some reason you manage to get them dirty, um, just give them a nice wipe down with the isopropyl alcohol or, or just with water, just to make sure that these will stick to them nicely. Okay, so here we are with all of our 3M tape applied. Uh, the next thing we're gonna do is the hardest part, and you're gonna want at least one, if not two people to help you out. What we're gonna do is we're gonna peel these red pieces of tape off, and we're gonna pick these louvers up, ideally one person per side, take them over to the car, and we're gonna line them up and try to put them on straight. We're gonna just line this up, set the top down first, and then the bottom. Make sure everything sits just right. Press all your plates down. So anywhere there's a nut you wanna press down with your hand. Especially these top ones since these are the most likely to come loose. There we go. Okay. So that is pretty much it. Uh, unlike a lot of other installs, uh, this one will only take you a couple minutes, uh, half an hour to an hour if you really do it right. Just make sure to press down on all those, make sure your glue is adhering. Um, let it sit for probably at least half an hour, but the longer the better uh, before you drive it. And if you just want to do like a little stress test, you know, just to make sure it's stuck, you can just, you know, no matter what you do, you're still going to get, <laughs> I mean, that's just plastic louvers, you know, that's how they work. But uh, overall, I think these are a really nice mod to do for these cars they add a really aggressive profile um you know these are kind of like mild as far as these go there are some really aggressive designs out there um these actually are completely non-functional it's just a big piece of plastic uh louvers were actually like invented by italian sports car companies um i think i think ferrari but i'm not sure uh and the purpose was you know you have your engine back here you want to be able to vent the air but you don't want to let rain in so louvers um, so on a car like this they're completely cosmetic but a really nice mod uh, i'll post the link to the ones that i got specifically in the description and let's hope that these do not fly off on the highway so that's pretty much it for this video um, i hope you guys enjoyed and i hope you liked the way that the louvers came out um, as always, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave a comment below and thanks for watching.